Hi everyone, at a journal page today, and I'm working in this, uh, I don't know, dictionary, encyclopedia, or whatever, and if you remember, uh, some time ago, I made a video with these two pages, and I said that I was uh, wanting to do a background with these colors, and maybe with these colors, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm using a water soluble oil pastels. You don't have to have them. You can do the same thing with acrylics and baby wipe. You can use a chalk pastels. Again, activate them with a baby wipe. That's what I'm going to do today just with water soluble oil pastels. Now, before I'm using this, I want to try and do some kind of resist on the background i'm going to work only on this page just because it's <laughs> easier for me right now and i'm going to stencil on top of it with just white acrylic paint and i hope it will create some kind of resist in the background and interest now i've already got some interest in the fact that some of this text will show but i want to add something more uh, a lot of time i will also go in and first do some kind of gesso or white acrylic paint to mask some of the areas so i won't have a block of text so it would be more faded into the background but today I'm leaving it as is, I, I think at least. <laughs> I'm going to start with either stenciling or stamping. I think that I will start with stamping. I don't have a stencil with swirly things, so I've got stamps. It's either way. These are made from just, I cut them from craft foam and I glue them to whatever surface I had uh, on hand most of the time I will just adhere them to um, what it's called foam core board but it doesn't have to be so I'm just going to uh, put some paint on it with my finger just so there won't be too much uh, excess and so I will have only paint on the stamp itself and I'm just going to randomly stamp it on my page. I'm not looking for a perfect uh, outcome and you probably won't be able to see <laughs> the stamp because it's white on white but it's here and I'm just putting it randomly and let's hope there will be something interesting after I will uh, use some paint on it. If not, then I will do something on top of the paint. So another way to go about it. Okay. Mm. Again, I'm just spreading it randomly some I'm <coughs> stamping out of the borders I like doing that it looks more organic that way okay next just so I will have variation and not the same stamp all over I th I wanted a smaller one. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I I know that some time ago I made a smaller one, a swirly a stamp, but I can't find it right now. So I'll just work with what I have. I don't want this larger one too much on my page, so it won't distract from other stuff that is going to be. Now, so I've got this and I've got a stencil with stars on it that I want to use. I'm just going to 
quickly clean my fingers so I just want again to randomly add some stars I'm I think I'm only going to use the smaller ones I have a makeup sponge and I'm just dabbing so I won't have too much excess paint and again I'm just going to spread them quite randomly now if you want a uh, more coverage then use gesso to do a uh, the stenciling I didn't care uh, too much about the cover I just hope there will be some kind of resist so I'm just using white acrylic paint mm -mm -mm. Just spreading it around. Let's see. I'm tilting the page just to see <laughs> if where I want more more stars. And as I said, I can also uh, add more details later on if that's what I feel is needed mm -hmm. okay again trying to see what's going on here that's the problem with stenciling white on white okay let's hope that's that's it i'm going to let this dry and i'll be back okay so this is dry and i'm starting with coloring the page and i'm starting with a dark blue just putting it on the page I don't know if uh, the resist will show. I haven't tried it with this, with the water soluble oil pastels. The resist I works with other uh, with other stuff that uh, reacts with water. As I said, you can color your background with acrylics you can do it i i'm adding a little bit of purple i don't know why it just seems <laughs> like it's needed and of course right now we can't see much only when i will activate it let's see maybe a little bit more here i'm switching let's see let's switch to another blue just so it would be more interesting i'm not really concerned about where each color goes kind of having fun with it no don't want this one going with this turquoise you can uh, use sprays with the resist technique watercolors Okay, let's switch and let's hope I will get something nice. If not, not. It's just an old book. It's either that or an egg carton into the recycling bin. Okay, so I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm starting from here from this lighter color towards the darker color 
and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I can already see that some of my stamping is showing through. My baby wipe is not uh, wet enough. Ooh, that starts to be really nice. Just changing. And I think I'll spray it with a little bit more water. Like magic. <laughs> So it works and it really looks nice. I like it. Okay, so I'm liking it. I'm now it's a little bit uh, wet, so I'm going to let this dry and then we'll continue. Okay, so while I was waiting for this to dry, I went looking again for the Swilly stamp, the little one, I found it, and now I'm going to add more uh, details to the background. I'm using now yellow, just because I think it will work nicely on this background. And again, I'm just going to stamp it randomly on my page overlapping don't care This time, uh, th this is a piece from foamy uh, condensed stuff, again, from the cheap store. It's uh, in all kinds of uh, stuff that they sell for children. And I just uh, glued all kinds of craft foam on uh, each side. So I've got a multiple um, stamp in one. <laughs> Okay, I like it. Maybe, maybe a few, why not? A few dots. Don't really care, again, about perfection. It's part of the background. And now I'm switching again, and I think I'll do some uh, stars with the yellow. Yeah. I'm trying to and put it gently on the page so it won't smear other stuff. <laughs> because I'm impatient and don't want to wait for everything to get dry. Mm. Okay. Now I'm thinking even putting some uh, orange, but I think I'll, I'll skip it. Just leave it be as is. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Still not sure. Maybe just some orange splatter or just 
a little bit orange with the yellow let's try that i'm going to take a fan brush with water mixing the orange just with the yellow so i will have a, a different shade and some splattering downside of splattering now i need to <laughs> wait again for all all of this to dry okay that's it for this i'm gonna wait for it to dry i'll be back okay so <laughs> while i was waiting for this to dry i had the joy of fussy cutting this this is one of my drawings and as you can see lots of uh, fussy cutting going on here i i made a live stream explaining how i go about making this kind of stuff it's really uh, easy so i will um, leave a link below in the description box for you to check it out if you are interested and now i'm just going to adhere this to my page i'm using <coughs> sorry this uh, B7000 uh, glue just because it has a fine nozzle and it just helps me go into all the, the small details otherwise it really doesn't need this kind of strong glue sometimes when I'm lazy and i don't care about waiting for things to dry i will just cover the whole page with white glue put my something like that like this focal point on top and then i don't have to worry that the glue is getting to all the details <clears throat> right now i don't want to wait for another <laughs> thing to dry so that's how i'm going about it Almost. Okay. This uh, toothpaste uh, squeezer comes very handy with this kind of thing. And it's cheaper than uh, buying what's a uh, called <laughs> paint uh, squeezer <laughs> or whatever if you're buying it for toothpaste it's cheaper same product just cheaper okay got my focal point and now i just want to add a little bit of color and i'm going to use a uh, my ink tense pencil it doesn't have to be but it will be easier for me I can color with just plain markers, I can color with many things, let's see, uh, first I'm going to do the stamp with a little bit of green, ink tense uh, colors can be used just as, as is or most of the time you use it with water you activate with water they are ink based i really like them but it's very expensive so <laughs> i think it's the most expensive uh, thing i have got here and let's take a brush i'm just putting here a little bit of water because i really don't need much and i'm going to activate it again not worried too much just a hint of color and i don't know if you can see i wasn't too fussy with the fussy cutting i found out uh, 
through time that I like to leave a hairline of white when I'm fussy cutting. It just gives whatever I'm uh, cutting a highlight without me needing to bring out any kind of white marker. So instead of uh, trying to be really precise with the cutting I'm just letting go and don't care too much okay miss this one Okay, so I've got this, let's see, went over this, <laughs> I'm, I'm checking to see that I haven't missed any, okay, seems okay, maybe a little bit more definition here. And now I want some a little bit of color to my flowers. I'm going with yellow and maybe a hint of orange. <clears throat> what <clears throat> what's going on with my <laughs> with my voice? Okay, so I'm just going on the inside. I think I'll just do the yellow first and see later on if I want to add a little bit of the orange. This is quite a strong yellow, so right now I'll just use this. <clears throat> I'm going to leave a, some of it white for the contrast, so... Okay, let's see. Have I missed something? I hope not. Okay, once again, water. And let's start. So I'm activating it, but I'm leaving part white again it gives a highlight it gives a um, more definition i'm going from the inside towards the outside so when i've got so i have less and less of the paint on my brush and so it looks more blended.
Okay, almost done. There is a piece here that I didn't cut all the way. Yeah. And some of the black line here is not good, so just fixed it. Okay, overall, let's see. Do I want a little bit of the orange? Uh, maybe, why not? A little bit on the inside, just again. So there will be a little bit more definition and I... So it won't look completely flat. When you use, it doesn't matter a, what you are using, stenciling or a drawing or coloring. If you use just one shade, it looks a flat. So one solid color just looks flat and kind of artificial and I don't know. I it for me it all always a reminds of plastic when it's solid color now you can do this with plain watercolor pencil it doesn't have to be the ink tense and another way to go about it i can just do like this and again take water and go in and add where I think it's needed so it doesn't have to be directly on what you are coloring again just what works for you that's it yep I am happy now do I want to add something do I leave it be? I li I'm going to leave it be. I like it like this. I don't want to distract from what's going on. So this is it for today. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.